When I was five years old, my mom started me in singing lessons, and I'm not sure if she had a hunch that I would love it, or if she was vicariously living through me because she never got the opportunity to, but regardless of that, I was happy she did it. I haven't stopped singing since I was five, and after much convincing about a year ago from my mother, I decided to audition for American Idol. And it wasn't really convincing, it was more like nagging every single day for four weeks straight because she really wanted me to do this. It was the last season and it would be my last opportunity and I've been watching the show since I was five so she knew how much it meant to me. So I listened to her, because mom's always right, at least that's what she tells me. And um, it was July 22nd of last year. My grandma went with me. We drove two hours to San Diego the entire time I'm nervous. The entire day felt like a century. And we pull up at six in the morning and I'm thinking that that's early. Like nobody's gonna be there. We walk up, my grandma and I, and there's already 300 people there. And I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna take all day. And we wait in line about like six hours in, just sitting in the same spot, talking with people around me. There's actually a guy, his name was Jacob, and he had auditioned for the show before. And he made it all the way to Hollywood Week. I didn't recognize him, but he had made it that far. And he told me that there were seven different rounds. And I was like, oh my God, seven rounds in one day? Seven rounds before you even get to the judges? I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. I'm not gonna make it that far. I'm about 10 people away, and my grandma could tell that I was really nervous. So she pulled me aside and she's like, Lexi, I want you to do something different today. I was like, what, what do you mean different? Like I'm singing, I just want me to do dance. <laughs> she's like, no, I don't want you to be in your head and I don't want you to be in your heart. I want you to be in the moment. I was like, okay. I took it into consideration because I really value my grandma's word. So I walk up, there's three people next to me. You go up in fours and they ask us our name, our age, where we're from and what we're singing. Of course, I'm the last person to go of the four of us and I'm standing there listening to these amazing singers and I'm psyching myself out. I'm in my head. I look at my grandma and she just smiles at me. I'm like, okay, just take a deep breath. And I'm gonna be okay. I stand up, I say my name, my age, and I give them the best 60 seconds I have ever given. And I'm proud of myself. I step back and they talk for what seems like hours. And they call the three people that I went up with and I'm left standing in the back row by myself. And I'm psyching myself out like, okay, that just wasn't good enough. The three people walk away and they call me up and I'm just in my head like, don't cry, don't cry. Don't be one of those people. They start off by saying, we wanna thank you for coming out and taking time out of your day. And as they're saying that, they're reaching for a piece of paper and they say, we wanna congratulate you. And my, oh God, I start crying. <laughs> and I was so happy and like looking at my grandma's face and she was so proud of me. And um, God, it was like the greatest feeling because it was 13 years of hard work and like somebody important telling me that I was good enough, not just my mom. So the rest of the day, I went through all the different rounds I made it to the sixth round and that's when they let me go. And it was a little disappointing because, I mean, I didn't make it all the way onto the show and I didn't get to meet the judges, but all in all, like, that first golden ticket probably meant the world to me because it gave me confidence and it made me believe in myself more than I should have. And um, it was more than just a piece of paper and that day, like looking back so far, that's been the best day of my life.